The country has almost completed the construction of a radio telescope which has a dish of the size of 30 football fields. And now you're watching live footage from the very side of this world's biggest telescope in its kind. That's in southwest China's uh, Guizhou province or in Pingtang County to be precise. And this is the last part uh, last part or the last reflector of the uh, of this uh, huge telescope's dish. Now we cross live to our reporter Liu Yang at the site. Mm. Hello, Penin. You're, you're absolutely right. This is the world's largest single astrospherical radio telescope. And right now I'm witnessing the historic moment of this mega construction. We now see um, the crown is actually harshing, has already harshed the last reflector panel and uh, put on to one of the uh, design plan on the building range. And I talked to experts and he told me that in about uh, two minutes, uh, one of the special design plans uh, will be carrying uh, the last the reflector, it's one of the reflectors actually, uh, to another special design plan. And then we'll, you know, to a certain will carry this reflector to a certain point on the radio ring and then uh, slide it down by cables uh, to the bottom of this gigantic radio telescope. The reflector will be installed right beside the parking platform of the focus cabin and the entire process which is about an hour but right now we're still waiting uh we're seeing uh one of the special design plans who actually is ready to uh play this last of the structure um on the platform of this special design plan uh and then the process is quite slow, you know, it's, it's all, uh, you know, huge um, equipment and the movement has to be slow, be very careful and not to, uh, to cause any damage to the reflector. And uh, it certainly uh, will take long longer than we can imagine uh, in the next an hour. Uh, you know, the crown will be, uh, you know, carried by different special design plans and then slide it down by the cable to the bottom of the focus cabin, uh, focus cabin. And I want to mention just to give you a little bit of details about this uh, uh, focus cabin. It's actually in the middle uh, of this telescope. It's currently actually uh, right in, it's probably uh, about 140 to 150 meters above the bottom reflectors and the bottom reflector panels, I should say. Um, and how does it work is that um, the vast this reflector we know that is made up of 4,450 triangle panels measuring 11 meters on each side. And the focus cabin is exactly as I just mentioned, it's extended between 140, 260 meters above the reflector dish. And the panels have uh, cables. As you can see, each of the panels, the structure panels, have cables fixed to the back, which are controlled by computer systems, um, computer systems of this giant, gigantic video telescope. And we don't know how many computers, but we can imagine there are uh, there are just uh, you know many, many, many more computers in the in the system, and just the work towards this one gigantic radio telescope and um these panels have already fixed by the cables and providing an active surface uh, that can alter the focal point so that will uh, allow the reflectors uh, to synchronize with the focus cabin back and forth and then enable the telescope to see uh, the wicked, even the wicked signals from the other states uh, were the energy. The experts told me that the wicked signals were signals means energy from the energy, you know, about energy from the universe. And um, 
And the one of the very interesting uh, fact that uh, uh, you know uh, the expert uh, told me that uh, you know if there are two different types of telescopes, 